All right, today we are going to go through a lot of stuff. Uh, might take a couple of videos, but it is a carload of things that we pulled out of my grandparents' storage locker uh, to sell uh, on Etsy and eBay to get rid of because we don't have anything to, anywhere to put it. So anyway, it's just kind of an overview of all of the stuff we'll go through today. Um, as much as we can. A uh, couple of big boxes, mid-century modern chair back there, a vintage rug that is brand new. It's never even been on a floor. Uh, so yeah, let's get started. Hey, so we're gonna get into going through everything that was in the box. <laughs> We have um, a couple of cool things. Uh, phone ringing in the background. Very cool. <laughs> uh, McCoy shoe planter. Um, very, very full of crazing. Um, the glazing on the bottom, um, at least on the side, is not in the best shape um, as you can see it's well used and loved it needs to be cleaned up I don't feel any major chipping or anything but uh, I don't expect to get a lot of money for that just because of its condition um, there is a <laughs> there's a brass bell uh, with a unicorn on it I don't know the age of this. I've not looked it up yet. Made in Taiwan, ROC. I'm not familiar with that particular marking, but it's just a unicorn bell. Uh, there is a me ducking off camera. This is a Bierstein from Germany, Western Germany. On the bottom it says, Still in its plastic wrap. This is from probably 25 years ago, if not longer. Um, my uncle was in the military and he was stationed in Germany for a long time. And he got this from my grandparents when he was stationed over there. And um, they apparently never took it out of the plastic. So I will have to look up and see what one of this magnitude is going for. It's gorgeous. It's got like the really detailed handle and I do not speak German so I cannot um, tell you what that says. There's a bunch of stuff down here. Um, I have a lot of beer stuff. There's this plate or tin I should say uh, 1776 signing of the Declaration of Independence birth of a nation uh, it's a Miller high life so um, made in Brazil I don't know what year they actually put these beer tins out but clearly not the year they signed the Declaration of Independence there's this super old 12-way genuine leather belt set. There's three 44-inch leather belts in there with two different belt buckles. My mom bought this for my grandfather. It says price $55. I'm certain she did not pay $55 for this, but um, it's never been opened or used. Um, but it's, um, it's a thing. I don't know if anybody would want that. Uh, lots of patriotic stuff in this particular box of stuff for my grandparents. Uh, one nation under God. So a uh, eagle that came from probably my uncle down in Texas with the Susan B. Anthony flag and the American flag or current American flag and previous American flag. Um, pretty good shape. Has some red fuzz on the back of it from being up against a red felt thing of my grandmother's. But, um, one nation under God. So I don't know what that's particularly worth, but I will look it up. Um, there 
was a large collection of cardinals at my grandmother's house. Um, so in this particular box, there's a salt and pepper shaker cardinal set. The set comes with a tray um, with little pine cones on it, but there is a chip right here, um, which clearly affects the value of the set. Um, she did not display the tray. The tray was in the box. And the cardinal set did not have salt and pepper in it. She just used them for display. Um, but the one cardinal does have one little doink right there on the uh, big ceramic rose plate. Um, does not have any markings on it, nothing on the back, um, but the back is white and has like this lip to it so you could hang it. Um, it's sturdy, no chips or cracks on it that I can see. A couple of spots where there's white on it, but it's more of an added to, so I feel like there's paint on it instead of paint off of it. If that makes any sense. I have a watch that was a gift to my grandmother that she never wore. It's still in its box. Made in China, has an item number, has instructions with it as to how to shorten it. Came in bubble wrap. It is a stainless steel and gold tone watch. I don't know if it'll focus or not. Probably not. It says quartz on it. It has kind of um, scrolly hand motion or hand numbers on there. Sorry. My brain's not functioning. I've only had one cup of coffee. Okay, let's take this out. This is from Action Made in Korea. It is a basket weave basket on the inside for the most part. I'll wash it with Barkeeper's Friend, but just a little ceramic basket. I found this tiny, tiny dirty poodle just in a pile of uh, newspaper. He is definitely vintage. <laughs> I don't know where he came from. Um, A&W root beer mug stolen certainly from A&W root beer. They're all over Minnesota. Um, an original Delft blue pottery, um, handcrafted, hand painted Holland kitty cat on a pillow. He's not very valuable, but darn it, he's cute. Let's put him back down. We have a anchor hawking. Beautiful blue coffee mug. I'm certain that there are more of these. Um, he does have a tiny chip out of the bottom rim. Otherwise, he's in good shape. My grandmother always had more than one of any particular coffee mug, so I'm certain that in many more boxes, there are probably many more of these mugs. She never had just one. Um, this is a Mount Clemens pottery mug that says Super Dad on it. Father Pop, everything all over the place. Just a vintage old mug, nothing too super spectacular. Uh, vintage Coca-Cola Enjoy. It's a Christmas mug with the bells and holly berries on it. I don't know the age of this one. It doesn't have its year on it, but it's one of the smaller ones, so I assume that it's older because usually the smaller ones are older and then I have two of these they aren't worth a ton they're the 1997 ones I have like I said two so I imagine they will sell as a set they are going for around 10 bucks but I don't expect to get that much for them um, Andrea by Sedek made in Japan small chickadee um, I don't expect for this to go for much at all. Um, and if it doesn't sell, I will keep it because chickadees are my favorite. So, chickadees.
chickadees and nut hatches. I have another salt and pepper shaker that are not in the best condition, but they're adorable. They are uh, by unknown maker. One has a stopper, one does not. They are these cute little black and white kitties with the cute little red noses. I do believe my grandmother added the red ribbon. She added ribbon to everything. Um, but they're cute and mostly good condition. The black one obviously has more wear and tear than the white just because it's easier to see the wear and tear on a black thing than it is to see it on the white. But they are cute little guys. Um, what else? What else? What next? My grandfather's original Fujima corncob pipe, um, which has been used. But I don't know what these are worth. Um, I know they sell, but I don't know for what. Uh, if you have any children nearby, please put them away for a moment. You're getting a heck of a view of my shipping materials in the background and some of the school supplies for the kids. Sorry about that. Sorry, not sorry. Anyway, I have a very dirty, meaning dirty, needing to be washed, and dirty, meaning not appropriate. My grandfather and grandmother had a very fun group of friends who would give them nude things and they would keep those nude things. So I have this half naked Barbie. I'm sorry, I said half naked. What I meant is completely naked. And so she, <laughs> she's completely naked and very dirty. Like, I don't know why she's so dirty, but she's dirty. And so I'm going to try and clean her because, I don't know, I'm sure somebody wants her. She's probably very vintage. She doesn't have any branding on her. Um, and I found out earlier when I was packing her that she squeaks. Why she squeaks? I don't know. But she squeaks. And she's got pretty blue eyeshadow. I'm gonna put her away now because my dogs are here and they will eat her positively. And there's this weird quilted or sewn cat planter. And this is from 1988 New Design made in Taiwan. So that's that. I think that's everything from this box. I think. I think. And there's a whole bunch more that I haven't even unloaded from that glimpse in the car. Some of it's naughty. So <laughs> stay tuned.